It's the 6th of June. I'm Jerusha Sukhri Rath here with you today on News 24 Live to discuss this morning's newspaper front pages. Let's have a look at a pretty bad news story coming through on the front page of the Business Day today. It says young women are least likely to get a job. Now, if you read the story, what you'll discover is that young women in South Africa are less likely to get a job than young men in South Africa, but that young men and young women are less likely to get a job than their parents. If we have a look at the youth unemployment rates, and when I say youth unemployment, I'm talking about people between the ages of 15 and 35. That's quite a broad spectrum. Youth unemployment is up from 32.7% last year to 36.1% this year. These are statistics coming through from Statistics SA, and obviously youth unemployment in the country is a huge problem, something that we really, really need to address. Looking now at the front pages of other newspapers, the Cape Times has a beautiful picture of snow. Everybody's talking about the snow. And if we have a look at the Times' front page, also a lovely picture of kids um, traipsing through the snow with an umbrella. But if you have a look at that headline, Winter of Discontent, we see that there is a much bigger problem here. Now, you'll remember being load shed. Um, it wasn't fun, and nobody likes to have their electricity cut out. But ESCOM is warning that it could happen. ESCOM is saying they haven't planned any scheduled load shedding, but that consumers, that's you and me, we need to have a look at the website and just keep in mind when load shedding could happen. Now, remember the Madupi power station, which is supposed to ease some of our electricity problems in the country, was meant to be completed this year. But a looming strike from the National Union of Metal Workers of South Africa could affect everything. Now, this particular Metal Workers Association are saying that if their demands aren't met for wage negotiations by July 1st, they could well strike, and that is going to seriously hamper the development and the completion of the Madupi power station, meaning more electricity troubles for ESCOM and ultimately more electricity problems for you and me. Let's have a look at the front page of the Volksblatt now. A horrible story coming through from Grikwestad, where Grikwestad father, wife and daughter were killed in a senseless farm killing. Now, the murderer has been convicted, and it's a very sensitive story. We're unable to name him because he was a minor at the time of the incident, and also for the privacy and respect of the deceased family. But what we can say is that his mental health was called into question, some saying that he was perhaps a psychopath, now, a psychiatrist has taken to the stand in the courtroom and testified to the fact that he isn't a psychopath. Could this affect his sentencing? Well, sentencing continues and we'll keep you up to date on the situation in Krikwestad. For these stories and more, stay tuned to News24.com. Keep watching News24 Live and visit us on Twitter and Facebook and, of course, our YouTube channel.